so the first startup we have tonight is uh, Mood Me. Hi guys and girls. I'm always impressed by the amount of people in such events. So Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and whatever else. It's on. It's alive on our website, so you can uh, have a look. Uh, I, just come and see me after the event, and uh, I'll give you my card. Um, it's not going to be. I'm the, I'm not the geek in the company. I'm the guy who does anything but. So I'm trying to cover all the bases, including uh, the mood dance. Um, so the, uh, it's an app, mobile app, and it's also on, running on the web. The mobile app, you're not going to be able to see it on the big screen, but you can come and see me, and I will make a little demo for you. And I also have someone whom I'm going to take a picture from. So I would like to show you, first of all, um, wha what we are about. It's about uh, emotional engagement. So we are trying to say, well, Let's send a smile, not with a colon, close parentheses, and then you get a lemon face at the other end of the pipe, 30 <laughs> years old. So we are trying to say, well, let's use our face to express emotions. So, sounds like obvious. And when I shown that to a guy of, wait, ah, I shown that to a guy of Facebook. It was fun because I said, I want to see the future of Facebook. And I took him to my booth. It was an expo in Plug and Play. We are based in Sunnyvale. And I say, look, you, when you're sad, you, you want to, maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe you want to show your friends. Is she sad or what? No, she's angry. She's angry. That's the angry one. Anyway. Okay, sad and so on. I, I'm going to make her smile, but she's creepy when she smiles because she's got big teeth. Yeah. Anyway, yes. Do it. Okay, okay. So anyway, so um, now let me show you live how we create that. Um, basically, we have a cloud platform all the way down in Luxembourg, even smaller than Belgium. Okay, but it's a big country for cloud, and actually that's where the servers of Skype and iTunes and Amazon are hosted, so it's not like uh, it's an important place for, for cloud and also quite friendly for startups. Uh, okay, I'm just doing it, I wouldn't say quick and dirty, let's rotate her right. So what we do basically, it's artificial intelligence, it's facial recognition algorithms. So I'm going to send a picture to my little cloud down there, and it's going to create the living portrait. And now it's done, so it sent back the object, which is a 500k object, the living portrait. It's a hundred. We we automatically detect 150 points on the face, and then we texturize it with the original picture, and this 3D object because we, we, we also extract the third dimension out, out of the face. Kind of guessing how it is. And basically, what do we do with that? Uh, I don't know if this is about business or... or, or but we... we, are, we <laughs> so, we, we are selling that to TV channels. Like X Factor, people can... You know, in Europe, people spend one euro to vote anonymously. So they're going to vote with our app, with their face. And they say, I'm voting with that mood. And there will be a lottery, and they will be broadcast with their face. They will call all their friends, oh, I'm going to live. OK. Anyway, um, I want a guinea pig. Gilles, you are the victim tonight. <laughs> this is a tradition between Belgium and France. We have some rivalry. So now, the only way I'm going to show you that is I'm going to pass this smartphone around. As it's a crappy LG two years old, I'm sure nobody's going to steal it. <laughs> so. Um, you can, I will pass it around, pass it around, and then come and see me if you want to play. Uh, Gilles, you are allowed to delete. Um, these are the different moods that you can, we, there are five buttons, five moods, but you have to realize we have 150 points on the face. And why 150 and not 500? It's because we want this thing to run decently fast on smartphones, not iPhone 5 or Galaxy, or whatever. So, so this thing, we can improve the model, and we will improve. We are right now improving the teeth, among others. Um, but basically, when I go to a guy of Ambev and I say, look, I can create just for you, the this buts for you move. I think you understand what I'm talking about. And I can make some foam coming out of the mouth and whatever drops of sweat. They really get it. And they say, wow, this is cool advertising on the mobile, but it's integrated with Facebook. So in terms of architecture, we have a cloud platform where these avatar, we call them living portrait, because otherwise you think we have second life. And it's not second life, it's more realistic. Let's put the girl back. OK, now that's something we're doing for the TV show. Non gradito, because it's TV, Italian TV. 
So we are counting the tweets and basically we show the mood of the person based on what the public thinks. Not this politician who's always smiling when he's telling lies. The people are voting on him in the right live, they're showing his face. So we're really going to do that for the elections in Italy in February. So, um, so uh, anyway, um, I don't have much more to say that the use cases are huge. We, we have a, a big soccer team, football. Uh, the real one, with real Rumble, uh, in Italy, so again in Italy, because we have a big team in Italy. So what are they going to do there? They're going to create people, the fans, are going to download this app, which will be branded with the soccer team, and they will create their living portrait. Now, they will have the living portrait of all the players. The, our app will extract the oval of the face of the person and stick it onto a, a, an athlete. Keep the hair, keep the shirt, keep the rest. So you recognize it's a player, but at the same time it's you. Push a button, you tweet it, that's free. Push another button and you go live on the big screen during the game. And that's money. And I can tell you, people are gonna pay for that. Like, they believe people are gonna pay one, two euro, two dollars, whatever. So that's the kind of things we do. It's about fan engagement, it's about more fun, um, cooler ads, ads like, you know, nobody clicks on these Facebook ads and that's why it's still 30 or 40 billion underwater since the IPO. So this is about emotional engagement and, um, I'm, uh, I think I'm more or less done with the, I, I don't know where, where my smartphone is, uh, have fun uh, with it. Uh, try to bring it back, I have the contacts there, it's not an important nice. smartphone. That's great, thank you. Okay, thanks a lot. Questions uh, for Moodme? Ah, she's, no questions, she's going to be sad. There's a couple out there, if you want to call on. And if you could repeat the questions, that's sure. great. Sure, yeah. How is done in the back? What, what are you using? Flash or uh, animation or what is that? Or GIFs or what? So, um, question is, uh, what's on, in the, you say in the back, but it's really on the front end. Yeah. In the front end. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, um, right on the, on the browser, it's a Flash application, but we have an Adobe, Air. we are going to deploy on iOS and Android in the coming month. Uh, so, it's an Adobe Air client, a fat client that we put, which runs also the Away 3D, um, 3D engine. So on the, on the browser it's, it's Flash and on, on, on the fat client it's uh, Adobe Air. Yes, sure. Uh, I want to know whether you capture it as a video or just if somebody sends you a picture also you can create the same uh, scenario. Yeah, the question is, is it a video or is it uh, something that we create with a picture? I, actually, I showed it that I, 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 I created this thing with one picture. It's basically one picture we... Re the picture should be as neutral as possible, um, with a good uh, lighting and um, and uh, yeah, and face looking uh, straight. Based on good quality picture, we generate automatically a 3D model. We call it living portrait out of that. So we not only need one picture to create this 3D model, and it's not video, but we animate it with some randomized life. But we can create any ty type of life to this. We, so the question is uh, if we can uh, extract a video stream out of that and, and then post-edit post, post edit it. Um, let's say we can extract a video stream out of that, yes. And then uh, editing video, it's outside of our scope of competence, but there are lots of software which allow to do that. But we can indeed uh, generate a video stream out of that. Thank you. Sure, welcome. Yes? So uh, have you actually put it out there? Is it actually being used? In, um so is it actually being used by a football team or? Okay. So is it live? Is it uh, yo. so? It's not yet on the uh, on the App Store. Um, what we are doing right now is selling projects around our technology, uh, where we we have mobile, big screen, web experiences around our cloud platform, and we are going to ship our own app um, probably in January. But we're so busy with B two B deals right now and technical pre-sales things that we are delaying a little bit the B2C. We are not too excited about the B2C in terms of uh, monetization. We think there is more money and more fun and, and uh, so anyway, but we are, we're going to ship a, a B2C app so there will be a Mood Me app. You will be able to mood your friends instead of texting them, you know. <laughs>
Uh, time for one more. I saw there was someone one in the middle there. Yet. Yes? Yes? <laughs> well, her eyebrows are black, so her hair is black. Does it change? Like, you know, the background? I know that you just select a face. Does it... The hair. Yeah. The hair. Because you only cut her face. You didn't actually do it right. Hair. So is everyone's hair black? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't understand what your question was. For example, if we take this tight right here, he has blonde hair. Can you change the yeah. hair? Yeah. <laughs> My wife says this is white. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I, I, I'm not sure I understood the question about the color of the hair. It's, it worked with any hair, without hair as well. So when you get bored, you can still use or put me. At least you're not a ginger or we would kick you. Oh, that's okay. Good question. Um, so, at the moment, what we do uh, on this demo, what I did is really uh, generate the face model while keeping everything around the oval intact. Now, oh, okay. what we are doing now is accessorizing by allowing people to change, put another hairstyle or the beard of these giants. Uh, uh, baseball player, or this kind of thing, uh, which I'm sure fans will love. So, but at the moment we are just keeping the oval and uh, keeping the rest around the oval and generating the model with the oval. Okay, so but we'll get to there. So that's the original background. Yeah, it is. Cool. Thanks very much. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Bye bye.